The fourth S of wine tasting is most people's favorite. We're finally going to sip the wine. If you missed my first few posts with the general overview and the first three S's, see, swirl, and smell, I'll drop links to those below. But in the meantime, let's talk about sipping. I'm Kristen Scott, founder and chief wine drinker at swirltosip.com. And of course, sipping is what we've been looking forward to as we've gone through the entire tasting process. So let's get on with it. So remember what we did with the smell technique was tried it without swirling and then tried it again after swirling. I recommend doing that again with the sip step. So go ahead and take a small sip. Note what you taste. Swirl it. And sip again. It may be subtle, but you'll probably notice a difference. And as you taste more and more wine, you'll become even more aware of the differences that swirling will impart into your enjoyment of a wine. The other thing I want to teach you today is my sip technique. Most people are going to say, I know how to drink wine. Well, let me give you an extra little tip for a great way to really get to experience the flavors of your wine. I'm going to talk you through it and then I'll demonstrate it. I can't really talk while I have the wine in my mouth. So first I take a small sip and I put it just sort of in the behind my bottom lip. So it's almost like just floating around my bottom teeth. Then I purse my lips and take a small sip of air that goes right over the top of the wine. And what it does is it actually sort of swirls and aerates the wine right in my mouth. So I get, it mixes with oxygen and releases the flavor right in my mouth. So this is a great way to really experience that pop of flavor right in your mouth, right on top of your taste buds. Let me show you what it looks like. And let me also suggest first though, that you practice with some water at home <laughs> before you try this out in public with red wine. All right, so here I go. I always swirl first. Wow, big difference. And you'll also notice that this is a much more subtle way to do it than what you see kind of in the TV and the movies of taking the big swig and swishing it all around your mouth and chewing it and all those things. That can look sort of silly and really isn't necessary unless you're judging a wine competition. For most of us, just to enjoy a nice glass of wine, you can very subtly use this technique and you won't draw the attention of all the nearby tables. So that's a great way to really uh, have those flavors pop in your mouth. And I also want to just note um, that throughout this process of the five S's, see, swirl, smell, sip, and savor, uh, it's really a great idea to be taking notes. So you can use something, you know, specifically geared toward wine tasting notes. You can just have a little notepad, whatever it is. It's a really great idea as you start learning more about wine to be tasting, taking notes as you taste so you start to learn which flavors you tend to enjoy most, which varietals, which types of wine you tend to enjoy most, what those flavors are that are in those varietals that make you like them, what you smell, all these things. So the more you pay attention and make note of these things, the more aware of them you'll be, the better you'll be at detecting them. Nobody's good at this right out of the gate. So it takes practice and honestly, it's not terribly difficult work, so I hope you enjoy the practice. There is no video for the fifth S, which is savor. I'm sure you can figure out how to do that one on your own. Cheers. <laughs>